why kill Cassini in a ball of atmospheric fire? The international scientific community has agreed to avoid any possibility of contaminating Saturn's moons, especially Enceladus and Titan. Cassini is warm inside, essentially room temperature. Any microbes that found their way in during assembly could have easily survived. And Cassini's RTG will remain hot for decades. If she was allowed to accidentally crash on Enceladus, Cassini might easily melt her way down through the ice into the underground ocean. Back in 2009, studies had showed Cassini had enough fuel to go beyond Saturn to explore the ice giants Uranus or Neptune. She could have been sent back to Jupiter or outward to visit a population of comet-like asteroids known as the Centaurs. But to get all the science possible from the Saturn system, Cassini would have to die here. That led trajectory designers at JPL to develop a jewel of orbital dynamics, the Solstice mission. The plan optimizes repeated flybys of Titan. The route features high orbits to look at the poles and the rings, long loops to map the planet's magnetic fields, flattened equatorial orbits to check out moons, and ending at the peak of northern summer to mirror Cassini's arrival in southern summer. Between the two, scientists can infer the full cycle of Saturn's seasons. The science based on Cassini's data will go on for decades. <laughs>